Hi guys, Fonzie here from GM Motorsport Australia Speed. Today we've got, it's uh, becoming quite popular um, guys with their Commodores and um, they need a whole spruce up. Um, not many crate engines available and usually the crate engine's not what they want. So this one's been a full engine rebuild here at GM Motorsport, all in house with our equipment. Uh, it has our CNC V3 heads on it, which you'll see. Hard to see with the power steering on these, these ones. Um, it has our triple stepped headers. Um, it has the famous TK camshaft. It is still a six litre, big ramjet three with the big mathless part as well. Uh, we put them on the max effort cars. And it's also got our CNC intake. Um, basically it's got the radius rod CNC ported, but it doesn't have the um, plenum volume adder. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is if it, that's also a bit quieter in operation. So some people choose to do that, some do not. So if you've got one of these and you know you want to um, look after it or it needs a bit of a freshen up, we can do it from start to stop here. Uh, it's quite common. We're you know, probably doing one or two of these a month. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll show you what it can do on the dyno. Um, it is a manual, it is a TK. It is only a six litre, but it still will make some good stonk and power. Let's run it up. All right, there you see it. 500 rear wheel horsepower in the old Imperial system and 373 in the metric. So that's a huge effort uh, for one of these rebuilt um, GM Motorsport engines in house. Um, so they say manufacturing's dead, but um, listen, we have the facility to do the cylinder heads and everything that we need. And that's the result you can get in your Commodore. There's not much you can buy these days around that um, will you know, be able to be rear wheel drive and have that type of power. Um, interesting with our, you know, developments even in the last few years with the cylinder heads and the seats being better uh, on our new and machine and the intake manifold with the radius rods, these numbers are becoming more common. But what we're also seeing more common is the standard fuel pump um, in these, you know, little bit of age, be getting to their limit. Um, even the clutch and the standard replacement clutches um, becoming marginal so it's, a, it's good to have that problem um, but it also it's a problem that it poses now that if it's not in good condition there are some items that we have to replace or upgrade but um, you know it's good that we're actually getting to that it's pretty cool but uh, sort of proof that we are developing still even after these years and making more power than we did uh, you know 10 years ago so guys hope you enjoy the tech video and um, so I sh hope Sean enjoys his new car and uh, we'll see you soon with uh, some more 500 real horsepower cars.